NASA has made a stunning announcement that a nearby star may be about to go supernova in an incredible explosion that will be visible in the sky for the coming months. Supernovas are common in the universe, but having the ability to study one with the naked eye is something that has never happened before. In today's video, let's take a look at this incredible event and how it will affect life on Earth. Is humanity at risk from this explosion, or is it too far away to harm our planet? Analyzing data from the Hubble Space Telescope and several other observatories, NASA has concluded that the bright red supergiant star Betelgeuse quite literally blew its top in 2019, losing a substantial part of its visible surface and producing a gigantic surface mass ejection. These new observations yield clues as to how red stars lose mass late in their lives as their nuclear fusion furnaces burn out before exploding a supernovae. The amount of mass loss significantly affects their fate. However, Betelgeuse's surprisingly petulant behavior is not evidence that the star is about to blow up anytime soon. So, the mass loss event is not necessarily the signal of an imminent explosion. Scientists are hard at work analyzing data from different sources to piece together the puzzle of the star's petulant behavior before, after, and during the eruption. Scientists state that they have never before seen a huge mass ejection on the surface of a star. We are witnessing something that we don't completely understand. It's like watching stellar evolution in real time. The Titanic outburst in 2019 was possibly caused by a convective plume more than a million miles across bubbling up from deep inside the star. It produced shocks and pulsations that blasted off the chunk of the photosphere, leaving the star with a large cool surface area under the dust cloud that was produced by the cooling piece of the photosphere. Betelgeuse is now struggling to recover from this injury. Weighing roughly several times as much as our moon, the fractured piece of photosphere sped off into space and cooled to form a dust cloud that blocked light from the star as seen by Earth observers. The dimming, which began in late 2019 and lasted for a few months, was easily noticeable even by backyard observers watching the star change brightness. Though our sun has coronal mass ejections that blow off small pieces of the outer atmosphere, astronomers have never witnessed such a large amount of a star's visible surface get blasted into space. Therefore, surface mass ejections and coronal mass ejections may be different events. Betelgeuse is now so huge that if it replaced the sun at the center of our solar system, its outer surface would extend past the orbit of Jupiter. In the coming years, astronomers may use the James Webb Space Telescope to detect the ejected material in infrared light as it continues moving away from the star. Predicting exactly when it will turn into a supernova is difficult, however, as it depends on precise calculations of its mass as well as an understanding of what is going on inside the star. Betelgeuse is so vast, its size would extend beyond Jupiter's orbit if it were placed in the Sun's position in the solar system, that several telescopes have captured images of the star and spotted its shedding mass. Starting in 1993 and continuing for at least 15 years, its radius shrank by 15%, an astonishing amount for such a short time. All of these signs point towards the fact that Betelgeuse could go supernova at any moment. A supernova is what happens when a star has reached the end of its life and explodes in a brilliant burst of light. Supernovae can briefly outshine entire galaxies and radiate more energy than our Sun will in its entire lifetime. They're also the primary source of heavy elements in the universe. According to NASA, supernovae are the largest explosion that takes place in space. Various civilizations recorded supernovae long before the telescope was invented in the 17th century. The oldest recorded supernovae is RCW 86, which Chinese astronomers spotted in AD 185. According to NASA, records show that this guest star stayed in the sky for eight months. The Crab Nebula, arguably the most famous supernova, was first spotted by Chinese and Korean astronomers who recorded the star explosion in their records in 1054. Native Americans may have seen it as well, according to rock paintings found in Arizona and New Mexico. The supernova that formed the Crab Nebula was so bright that those early astronomers could see it during the day. Other supernovae that were observed before the telescope was invented occurred in the years 393, 1006, 1181, 1572, and 1604. Famed astronomer Tycho Brahe, who observed the 1572 event, wrote about his observations of the new star in his book De Nova Stella, which gave rise to the name Nova. 
The term supernova was first used by Walter Bade and Fritz Zwicky at Mount Wilson Observatory, who used it concerning an explosive event they observed called S. Andromedae, located in the Andromeda Galaxy. Scientists suggested that supernovas happen when ordinary stars collapse into neutron stars. According to research by the European Space Agency, on average a supernova will occur once every 50 years in a galaxy the size of the Milky Way. The U.S. Department of Energy estimates that a star explodes every 10 seconds or so somewhere in the universe. Exactly how a star dies depends in part on its mass. Our Sun, for example, doesn't have enough mass to explode as a supernova, but with the right amount of mass, a star can burn out in a fiery explosion. At about 950 times bigger than our Sun, Betelgeuse is one of the biggest stars in our universe. But that comes with a price. Just like us, stars have a life expectancy and Betelgeuse is no different. It's a ticking time bomb that's ready to go, but we're not sure when. So what if today was the day that Betelgeuse went out with a bang? How would the Earth be affected? And will our universe ever be the same? Betelgeuse is one of the closest stars to Earth at a distance of only 650 light years away. This makes it a fan favorite with professional and amateur astronomers alike. Down here on Earth, we're going to see a very bright light in the sky. It could even be visible during the day and bright enough to rival a full moon at night. This light show is expected to go on for quite some time. This is because the light has to travel 650 light years from its place in the universe to ours. The event will be breathtaking to behold, but will not affect life on Earth, except for the light show at night. We're about 10 times too far away to feel any repercussions from the explosion. If we weren't, well, that would be another story. If we were too close to Betelgeuse when it explodes, our atmosphere and cells would be fried by the radiation and gamma waves. When you're exposed to high doses of radiation, it can burn and scar your skin, cause genetic mutations, and can ultimately be lethal. Gamma radiation in particular is incredibly powerful. It's pure energy, even more intense than light itself. If Betelgeuse were closer to Earth, it would be literal and figurative lights out for us all. Humans, animals, plants, you name it, it would all be toasted. An explosion that big, from a star that immense, would destroy life on Earth in seconds once the radiation hits us, even though the process of going supernova takes years. And even if we did have interplanetary ships to evacuate in time, Betelgeuse is so huge that there wouldn't be a planet in our solar system that's safe from the explosion. Thankfully, we're much too far from Betelgeuse to have any direct, observable, or harmful effects from the explosion. Betelgeuse is going to explode, but it will likely take another 100,000 years. When it does, go, astronomers are going to have to rethink the structure of Orion. If you stargaze on a clear winter night, it's hard to miss the constellation Orion, the hunter, with his shield in one arm and the other arm stretched high to the heavens. Betelgeuse marks Orion's shoulder, and this star's strange dimming has captivated sky gazers for thousands of years. Aboriginal Australians may have even worked it into their oral histories. With all the speculation about what a Betelgeuse supernova would look like from Earth, astronomers at the University of California have come up with simulations of the star's dying days. The astronomers say there's still uncertainty over how the supernova would play out, but they were able to augment their accuracy using observations taken during supernova 1987A, the closest known star to explode in centuries. The simulations show that the explosion will shine as bright as the half moon for more than three months. Humans would be able to see the supernova in the daytime sky for roughly a year, and it would be visible at night with the naked eye for several years as the supernova aftermath dims. By the time it fades completely, Orion will be missing its left shoulder. While there is no worry of any harm to life, the supernova could impact Earth in some surprising ways. For example, many animals use the moon for navigation and are confused by artificial lights. Adding a second object as bright as the moon could be disruptive. And it's not only wildlife that would be disturbed either. Ironically, astronomers themselves would have a hard time. Astronomical observations are already difficult when the moon is bright, and adding another bright light in the sky could hinder progress for years. And if Betelgeuse does defy the odds and blow up in our lifetimes, astronomers say there will be ample warning. Instruments on Earth would start detecting neutrinos, or gravitational waves, generated by the explosion as much as a day in advance. But for scientists, Betelgeuse doesn't have to explode to be interesting. It's big and bright, making it relatively easy to study. 
The star provides a unique opportunity to study a celestial body at the end of its life. Some fascinating physics is going on in the internal structure of Betelgeuse, and the best guess astronomers have as to what's going on stems from what they already know about the star and others like it. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one, which talks about a huge exoplanet that has started sending signals to Earth. Do you think Betelgeuse will explode in this decade? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.